Hi, I'm Amy, and welcome back to our channel. You may have seen our leather and metal work before, but today I'm embarking on a brand new adventure. I'm going to be selling my paintings. Hey there, we are Amy and Tanner, and we are full-time artists who create a variety of items out of leather, metal, upcycle items, and more. We display and sell our work through craft shows, art markets, galleries, stores, and online. We also create art-focused documentaries, short films, and online courses for artists and crafters. We created this channel to help and inspire other artists and other crafters to follow their dreams and hopefully learn something new. We hope you'll enjoy exploring our channel and checking out future videos as well. I've been painting for a long time. I often paint mock-ups, designs that go on our metal and leather work, but I've never shared these paintings, and I really want to see what people thought of them. So I want to take you along for a prepare for my new art adventure, and I'm going to share with you what works and what doesn't. This video is only going to provide a general overview of what it takes to do an art show, but later on in shorts or other videos, I'm going to dive deeper into what it takes to set up for an art show, how to price your items, what others may be doing, and what I can reuse from our current setup for a new setup. We did this art fair 14 to 15 years ago with our metal and leather work. We completed some carved images, metal sculptures, and shared some of our regular items. The show, which features 300 to 400 painters, switched to mainly being paintings the following year, and I didn't have enough paintings to share at that time to continue with the show. It was always my goal to do the show again with my paintings, but I never had enough until this year. I'm by no means an expert painter. It's just something I love doing. My style is sort of bright, whimsical scenes that includes a lot of nature. Our daughter and I have painted and drawn together weekly since she was around two years old. While she loves acrylics, I love watercolor. The first thing on my checklist to prep for the show is finding something to protect my paintings. I'm not using varnish since I have an allergy to just about everything. <laughs> So for now, we'll be using plastic sleeves. I had bought a pallet of the plastic bags secondhand from a place that was clearing them out. So we'll check out those to see what we can use. You can see there are a ton of options on Amazon. So I will have to go through each bag and style to see which one will look the best and if I should get hanging bags for sleeves. I also got these bags from the store that runs the art fair. I got them for 20% off. I wasn't sure how many I needed, so I just got a couple for now. I mainly make smaller watercolor paintings. I have a disability which makes it physically harder to work on the larger paintings, so my originals will be under 11 by 17 inches, with most of them being 9 by 12. I'm not sure what size will sell, but I'll let you know when the show is over. I know from selling our other work, a variety of sizes always works the best. I have decided on using this selection of paper. It's the more affordable paper available in mid-range pricing. Some of them are blocks and some of them are pads. I know there are far better paints and paper available, but this is what I'm using in terms of paint and paper. If anyone knows of other inexpensive but great quality paper, please let me know in the comments. One thing I've really learned so far is to buy the best I can in terms of art supplies. When designing items for the booth or painting with our eight-year-old, I would use the most inexpensive paints and paper since I thought no one would ever see them. But when I looked to see if there were any pieces I could share, I saw there was nothing where the pigments and the paper looked good enough. If I had known last year I was going to sign up for this show, I would have bought better paper and paint last year. Please subscribe to our channel, join our Instagram group, and check out our community page for any updates, and for further behind the scenes pictures of what it takes to set up for an art show. Because we sell leather and metal items, there is only some of the booth that can be repurposed to sell paintings and prints. If we get a chance to, we'll take you along to a couple thrift stores or antique stores or garage sales even to see if we can find some fairly inexpensive display ideas. Pricing paintings and prints is significantly different from what we do. So we're going to have to do a little bit of research to find some prices that work. Obviously, I want to charge a fair price to myself and to the customers. 
We know there are a ton of artists who do paintings plus crafts and some displays need to work for both, depending on the booth size and the show. Our grid wall will definitely work for a painting display, but I'm not sure how yet. The booth design is going to be significantly different than what we are used to. I'm not sure if people should walk in or if I should have a table and people can just approach it. From our experience, we always have a table on the outside edge to make it easier for people to stop and check out what we have. I've had several artists at different shows tell me I should sell prints. It was always something that sort of confused me. If I got prints, should I do fine art paper, poster board, or print them myself? Do you have any advice about which prints to get? Or are you still undecided like me? Last year, an artist we were vending with saw some of my drawings and mentioned I should get prints done and gave me a local business to try and she told me exactly what paper she got printed from them. So we stopped there and the salesperson was really helpful in deciding what size to get and even gave me some paper samples to take home with me. I've decided on 11 by 17, 8 by 10, and I may try some 5 by 7 inch prints. They are going to be on thick cardstock and not fine art paper as I don't have the budget for that right now. I'm going to go with the matte finish instead of glossy. The size of prints I would get for photos I've taken with our wearable art are usually 16 by 20 inches. I would have bought that size, but the company doesn't have that size unless I move up to a poster board, which is a slightly different texture than the samples I got. So for now, I'm going to do a smaller size. I will let you know what size was everyone's favorite. One last thing I need to get is a sign printed that includes my paintings. I'm still undecided if I should include our metal and leather work on the sign as well. Getting ready for the show made me realize I have a ton of work left to do. It's a three day event and it's outdoors. So at the end of the show, I'm going to share with you what worked and what didn't. Thank you for joining me while I prepare for my art fair adventure. Have you done any art fairs? Do you sell your paintings or prints? Do you have any advice for me? Do you have any advice for others? Please let us know down in the comments and I hope you'll subscribe and I hope I'll get to see you next time.